Hello, I'm Barry Rhodes and I'm going to explain the options that a player has when his ball lies in a water hazard. This is covered under Rule 26-1, Relief for Ball in Water Hazard. To help me I have my whiteboard set up. The team ground is here, the green in the middle, there's a water hazard on the near side of the green and another water hazard on the far side of the green. And this is the flag stick. OK, I'm going to go through three different situations here. The first one is when the player plays their ball straight into the water on the near side of the green. The second one is when they play their ball onto the green, but it comes back, spins back into the water. And the third one is where they play their ball through the green and into the water hazard on the far side. The first thing to remember is that a player is entitled to play their ball from within the, the uh, margins of a water hazard without any penalty. Now, in most cases, it would be impractical to, to do so because the ball might be lying in the water. However, if the ball is lying just outside the water but within the margin, which is denoted by yellow stakes or yellow lines, then they can play their ball without penalty, but you must remember not to ground your club in those circumstances. If you ground your club inside a water hazard, it's a penalty of two strokes. The second option they have is to play again from the tee, teeing ground. So they would be playing their third stroke, the first one into the water, the penalty stroke, and then they're playing their third stroke from the teeing ground. And they can tee up their ball again from the teeing ground. In most cases, though, players will want to go down nearer to the water to play their third stroke, having taken the penalty for taking relief from the water. Now, where do they drop their ball? This is the point that most players get wrong. In the first scenario, the ball was played, it was sliced badly, and it went into the water, entering the water here. This is the point where it last crossed the margin of the hazard, and it's this point which is the reference point for the line that they have to drop their ball on for relief. The line goes from the flag stick through where the ball last crossed the margin of the hazard, and you can go back as far as you like along that line. So if you want to play a full shot in with a, let's say, a pitching wedge, you might want to play from here rather than up, up close to the water. The second uh, scenario is when a player played their ball, it bounced on the green here, but spun back into the water, last crossing the margin at that point there. So it crossed the margin twice. Here was the first time, but this was the last time, and therefore that's the reference point that you take for the line of drop. Once again, it's through the flag stick, through where the ball uh, last crossed the margin, and anywhere on that line there. The third scenario is where the player plays right across the green. It runs into the water on the far side, last crossing the margin of the water hazard at that point. So it's crossed once, twice, and then third. But this is the last time that it crossed the margin of a water hazard. And therefore, the line of relief is from the flag stick through that line and anywhere on a line going back as far as you like. So I hope that you've learned something from those three options. It's something that players get wrong more often than not. Uh, if you follow this, then at least you won't be penalised uh, unnecessarily. 